Has there ever been this much hype about one of her movies? I'm sure she's very excited. Who? Kalki. <laughs> what? Stupid. Just. Hey, welcome back to our Steve with Rex of Corbin. I'm Kalki Caitlin. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everyone who supports on Patreon. Follow us to the account, subscribe, like button. Isn't this about her? Yes. I mean, it's got her name. And uh, welcome back. You know why you're here. Today welcome we're back. doing a reaction to the new. <gasps> oh, wait. Got to see it first. Kalki. Why don't, let's do that. Let's react first. 98. And then just turn it on and. And it's been a while since we've done an early morning slash in the middle of the night. Reaction. It is. And it's Thanks, Obama. 6.30 here. Uh, 6.30 a.m. here. Yeah. Um, 9.30 Eastern. So if you think about it in New York time, it's not that bad. <laughs> but it's been... In Hawaii, it's 3.30. So that would suck. Either they've dropped it at more reasonable times or there just hasn't been a big enough film... To do something at this time. I think there's only been two that were like middle of the morning for us. Like 2.30 in the morning or 3 in the morning. Yeah. It was crazy. Thankfully. Um, but it's about two minutes before the trailer drops. And so we're just doing the intro right now. Um, but we are going to, once it drops, we will react and you will see our reaction. I, I had a thought. Mm. Do you think this is going to be different footage than what we saw at Comic-Con? I would hope so. I would hope so, too. <laughs> yeah. A year later, just throw out the same thing. That was a teaser. So, But. Oh, you'll see our reactions in just a second. We'll be reacting. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. They no. changed the time. 15 minutes. Oh, you f <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes later. Yeah, so it it dropped later and also does not have subs. I, I waited because sometimes they add them later. So we'll figure out what they're saying later. I don't, so I don't understand. We're going to kind of try to judge it just based off of the, <laughs> the audio. You you visuals. have a big event in at Comic-Con in San Diego. You clearly are marketing this internationally. You clearly want Americans to be on board with this. But you drop a trailer and you, you don't include English subtitles? Yeah, makes no sense to me. Regardless, uh, we're going to do the Telugu because it's uh, Prabhas. Yeah, it's Prabhas is, so the, is even the main though star. A even a bunch though, of Hindi yeah, actors as but, well. But it's it's Prabhas' headliner. So here we go. I'll double check one more time, make sure there's still no subs. And we're back. And the team is looking down the barrel of a 455 meeting. Can they turn it around? Shut up. No, no subs. Here we go. రక్షించ <laughs> కనిపోయేది మామూలు ప్రాణం కాదమ్మా సృష్టిని నేను కాపాడుతా ప్రపంచంలో ఒకటే ఒక సైడ్ Let's go. Hi. Hi. 
Heavily VFX uh, heavy yeah, makeup. Yeah, big time makeup, but it sure as heck that that looked like Kamal Hassan. And that voice was him. And I'm sorry, but it looks like uh, Big B could kick Gandalf's butt in this. Yeah, he does. Right? Um, sorry, I'm focused on. The he's he's going back to I'm trying to find the Kamal thing. Find I, the. I want to make sure that was him. Yeah, I get that's him. That's just he's heavily VFX because yeah. that was his voice. A thousand percent, right? I'd bet money on it. It sounded like it. Um, obviously, we didn't know what they said because they still have not dropped subtitles. Yeah. Uh, but it looked cool. I I am thrilled that India's trying full on sci fi because um, this is full on sci fi. And and in a world fantasy sci fi. Yeah, fantasy sci fi. And and in a world where you have people acclimated to the visuals of the the Lord of the Rings series, the the dragons. You've got all the Star Wars series, including the new Acolyte series. There, the expectations for the visual effects on this are through the roof, and yeah. I'm really happy that this met the expectations I had for this to look like they've done a phenomenal job world creating. I I, I can't wait. Please, IMAX. Yeah. Please, IMAX. Please, I, please, please. I haven't seen IMAX yet. I know it's already um, in See Me. You know what I would love? But I, I, did, I haven't seen an IMAX showing yet. For <sighs> What's the release date on this again? 27th. When's Deadpool and Wolverine? July. Okay, so this is preceding it. Yeah, I think it's... I would love if American box office just reverberated... And we're astonished by the fact that the first blockbuster of the year in American cinemas is this film. Yeah. Because American theater, there's been, there hasn't been anything really good this year in movie theaters. It's been some of the worst box office for the pre-summer and entry to summer stuff. I would love it. Not bad boys doing well. Yeah, it is. For the opening weekend, we'll see if it has yeah. legs. I don't know. But I enjoyed I've, the first two bad boys. The, I, the reviews on it aren't good. Oh. So Really? Yeah. Mm. Um, I haven't looked at the reviews. So, but I would love, by the way, that's Bob, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like Bob. Yeah. Um, I, I'm really, and it looks like we, obviously we didn't have the language, but I could tell by some of it that it looks like it's going to have quite a bit of nice sense of humor. Yeah. I don't know that it's going to go full Ragnarok, but it's going to have some humor in it. Yeah. Um, Prabhas looks ah, cool as hell. Such a great guy. Though. Um, such a great leading man. They even got like blasters with the lasers coming out of them yeah it's because it's such a sci-fi fantasy has been around for a long time in hollywood i mean especially star wars just jump started that whole genre i mean even if you wizard of oz is fantasy yeah you know go back to the 1930s but sci-fi fantasy sci-fi fantasy yeah like yeah dystopian right future worlds everything blade runner um so it looks like my guess is in the first part, because this is at least two parts, Big B is going to be more centralized. My bet Clearly is it seems. in part um, part one, I bet Kamal's not going to be in it very much. 
Well, who, yeah, well, I don't know. And then maybe he'll be in more in the second part. Kind of. Do like we have a, a runtime yet on this? Please tell me it's two my, and a half to three hours. No, my my bet is it. Oh, I think I saw on Fandango it's like two forty five. Yeah. All right, all right. I think I saw good forty five. Good. Um, as long as it doesn't drag, of course, you don't want it to drag. Yeah, well, the thing that I like from this is this doesn't look, I mean, for drag, a lot of you will disagree with what I'm about to say, but for me, I haven't seen Dune 2, but boy, did Dune drag. Um, <laughs> this does not look like that. It definitely looks more, um, Dune definitely didn't have as much action. As it, it, also, it also looks very original. It, it it doesn't look like they've taken things that are copies from other sci-fi or fantasy things. It looks like they've taken their time to do a world creation that's very original. My bet is they they're taking a lot of Hindu um, lore or mythology, for lack of a better term, um, and putting like they do a lot oftentimes in these characters. Um, uh, it almost looked like um, Big B when they, he did the things behind him. He was going to be the demon. Guy, yeah, um, and who that was really cool. Um, Big B looks awesome, yes. yeah. But he, I can't, I, in all honesty, the character I'm most intrigued by at this point is Big B's character, yeah. Uh, I mean, not that I'm not intrigued with anybody else, but wow, yeah, we're, we're just letting it run again. The world building, the world building of production design and VFX is, is as good as it gets in this. This is. Everything we've hoped for. And you've been saying for a long time, I've been agreeing with you about really would love to see more sci-fi. Yeah. As and long as it's, it's good. Yeah. This could really herald a whole new era of sci-fi fantasy cinema. And this is not easy to do. And I it won't surprise me if the talk of the town, meaning the town being the planet, will be what they were able to achieve with a much smaller budget than most Hollywood yeah. films. Even though this is, I think somebody said this is probably the most expensive Indian film now. Right. Um, was it Brahmastra prior to that? Probably. You guys let me know if that's correct. But my bet is it's maybe around $100 million probably, I bet. But for a film of this scale, it would be a $300 million film in, in Hollywood. I just saw an article. I didn't read the whole thing, but the title of the article was about the fact that Amitabh Bakchan has been one of the rarest of all rare movie stars and been an A-list box office, still relevant, still everybody wants to see him for the entirety of his career. Mm -hmm. He's now, you know, 80 and still everybody's excited to watch him be in a film. It's awesome. Yeah, and this one's um, like um, pan India for sure because you got stars from a bunch of different... Um, industries yeah that people are excited to see big telugu stars big hindi stars very encouraging Tamil stars. yeah this is what we, i mean had high expectations for this this met it um let us know what you thought about it um i guess we'll at some point figure out what they say yeah <laughs> eventually <laughs> but visual wise it looks cool um let us know what you thought about it if you're excited for it and anything else we need to know down below Just